welcome back to Messy and Beautiful. I'm Sarah Jane, thanks for joining me today for another video. I'm hauling my Black Friday purchases. Um, my stackery box got delivered today, so I'm dying to get stuck into it because it's got a load of stuff for my planner setup. Um, I'm not going to be doing a full setup like I did for my half year Stalogy because I'm only maybe halfway through and I've been doing it for about three days so I just think it's just not going to be able to be filmed so I will do like a flip through once it's finished um so the first set of things that I got it's a bit of a weird story so my husband pays into a tea club every year and when that tea club gets a bit flush they divvy out the money but there's rules on what they can spend um the money on so last year he got 100 quid and he got told that the rules are that you have to buy something that you wouldn't normally buy and something that's frivolous. So it has to be like, um, I think one of them bought like a set of really expensive stereo cables and my husband bought like this big painting case because he does like model painting and stuff. Um, so this year he gave me 50 quid and he went, same rules apply. Like you've got to buy something frivolous and you've got to be something you wouldn't normally buy. So I had this money for maybe a month or so. And I think it was a bit of a gift for, you know, going through labour and all of that sort of stuff. That was the reason he gave me it. Um, and I spent a long time deciding what I wanted to do. And then in the Black Friday sales, I saw this. So this is massive and it won't fit in the frame. But you can probably see from the writing that it's the Tim Holtz Glass Mix Media Mat. Um, and I spent ages debating whether or not I wanted this because it was about 50 quid's worth of stuff. And then I saw it on Craftalia for £23 in the Black Friday sale. And I went, I'm having it. I'm having it. To the point where I sent it to my friend Lisa and said, it's on offer. She loves this sort of stuff as well. Um, I was like, this mat's on offer. This is what I'm considering getting. She was like, get it, get it, get it. Um, and then she ended up getting herself one and gave it to her husband to wrap up for her for Christmas, which I just think is amazing. So I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tested it out. I'm not going to do that on this video. Um, but for me, this is something that's really like special and fun. Um, I wouldn't normally spend this amount of money on something like this, but I'm really excited to get stuck in and use it because... It was only half of my budget, so I topped it up with some other bits that I'll show you in a minute. Um, and, like, it's just, it's going to be so much fun because I've got this whole, like, area in which I can work on. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent feature on my desk and if it's kind of going to become my backdrop yet or not for my videos because I don't know how it's going to look on camera and stuff. Um, but once I've decided, you will either see it again a lot or you probably won't see it. Um... But anyway, so yeah, that's what I got. It's got like a, it's like a glass cutting mat basically and it's got a wet palette on the side um, and you can, it's got all the grid and everything and there's this video of him demonstrating it at this craft event and it's just amazing and I was like, I, I really, really want one. So because I wouldn't normally buy it, this is what I bought myself. Um, the other things I got in the same sale, I spent my 50 quid, I think I spent 55 in total because you know me, I can't stick to a budget. And then I paid the shipping on top because I thought he didn't give me the money to pay for the shipping. So it came to about 70 pounds in total. Um, but the next thing I got was the We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board. Um, and again, this is more with scrapbooking in mind than planning, but you know, junk journaling and that kind of stuff as well. I got the tag punch board. I have already had this out because of where I started, I say started, I've, I've been trying to catch up with my December daily from 2021 so that I could get ready for 2022. 2022 just didn't happen. Um, so whether I finish both of them or not, I don't know. But this is kind of the intention in which I bought these things. And the last thing I bought was a circle cutter. Um, I have tried this out. It's not very good but I haven't tried it on a flat surface yet. So I need to try it on a proper flat surface and give it a good go um, because I'm really rubbish at cutting out circles. They always go a bit wonky on one side and a bit funny. And like, I just thought it'd be for some fun stuff for like scrapbook layouts. So that is what I spent my 50 quid on. Um, but again, Black Friday sales. So I got an awful lot for my money. I'm going to move the whole thing out the way. So just bear with me a minute. I've got nowhere to put it. It's massive. Right, let's stack those back up there. Right, 
So you can probably still hear the joy in my voice um, about those things because it was just such a nice surprise really and it was something fun and I might try and do the same thing for him next year. So the next thing I've got that's Black Friday sales is my stackery box um, and I'm really excited to get in here because as usual I can't remember what I ordered um, but it certainly isn't as big as Black Friday sales 2021 because I was still trying to keep my my expenditure down because my god i'm still buying stuff and i shouldn't be i did open the parcel um just more to save the noise than anything um so oh oh loads of stuff loads of stuff um but yeah so i was trying to not spend as much as i did last year i didn't really save for it this year um but i it did get a little bit carried away because I always do don't I um but I've got loads of stuff in here so I'm going to try and do it shop by shop so let me just clear it all to one side and maybe we'll start with Lauren Phelps so I got from Lauren Phelps what I really wanted was this B6 allergy cover I know this fits my allergies um I did make a mistake in my uh, setup video someone has explained to me that there's a difference between b6 like i think like english us sizes and japanese sizes and a b6 allergy is slightly taller i think she said um but an a size is a standard paper size throughout the world so that's the reason the probably the reason the one ton in a million cover didn't fit but i know that these fit because i've already got one on my other allergy um so i'm glad i bought that <laughs> and i didn't buy another one ton in a million cover because it just wouldn't have fit there was no way i could have made it fit and but i'm pleased that she explained that to me um her late uh, the, her channel's just scribbles um and I'm really pleased that she explained that to me because it means that I'm now justified in cutting that last one up. Um, right, so moving on. The other bits I got, because naturally while I'm there, I can't just buy one thing and pay for the postage. I have to buy a few other bits and pieces. So I bought some like floral sticky notes because I just thought they were really pretty. Um, and they're just like a basic floral line drawing. Um, and I have plans for how I'm using sticky notes this year because I've got tons and tons of them. I bought a um washi tape that i have the green one um to match this style and again it's just a simple minimal line drawing floral type one um i would open these but i think this video is going to be quite long if i do that so i am going to skip that for the ones that kind of are pretty obvious in pattern and then i got a like buffalo plaid check type washi tape in green um with my oh you can see the pattern a bit better from the front of the if the lighting's any good it's really late as usual um and then i've got a green buffalo check patterned uh, washi tape um with my december daily in mind um and i love green don't i and i love check things and then i got a sticker set which i am going to open i already have part of this set i think i have this sheet in fact but I wanted the washi strips to go with it because I just love the colours of it. I just think it's so pretty. Um, it's like tealy green, minty colours. Um, don't let challenges challenge your limits um, is what all the florals say. Um, and I quite like this as well. This is really cool. So I've already got this one, but it's starting to curl because the temperature in here is really changeable. And a lot of my things are starting to curl up. Um, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I can still use them so I do already have that sheet but because it's like a journaling kit and I'm in that sort of planner this year I have got that one that I can now use as well um, which is exciting the next shop I will do is wonton in a million because um, as I said in my last video I do really love her shop so she was doing a Black Friday deal for this like Christmassy Santa elf like wonton washi tape um, and it's like the stamped style washi tape so you, you basically got it for free um, so why would I miss out on that and then the bits that I bought are oh, just a few stickers um, so oh there's a little or did your advent yet yeah i think that's come and gone isn't it because she does one for january um but you get a cool few little stickers on there little free sample which is nice and you get a lovely card as well um that i probably will use 
because it's pretty and spring-like. And then inside it explains to you all of the different characters that she does. Um, it's just really pretty. I love her stuff because it's characters and things, isn't it? And then I bought a little bundle of joy set of stickers, obviously, because I've got a new bundle of joy. I forgot I bought these. I'm glad I bought these. Some monthly tabs in purple. Oh, they could have gone on my work one. Never mind. Right. And then I bought these ones that are like the Erin Condren collab. So she did a uh, planner covers that were jade and purple for Erin Condren planners. And I really, really, really talked myself out of buying this particular cover. Um, and it took me a long time to let go of the fact that I didn't need it and I couldn't afford it. But when I saw the little stickers, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to get the stickers because it makes me happy. And then there's like a little deco set to go with it. Um, so I went for like the JD coloured ones because it's my favourite colour. So that is one ton in a million. Nice and quick. Um, the next is a new to me shop. This is... Where's the other one? There's another one. Oh, it's there. Um, right, so a new to me shop is Hub Man and Chub Girl. Um, I had never heard of these people before. I was looking at someone on Facebook had asked about subscriptions um, and said that these subscriptions for stickers were amazing, but they're quite expensive. Like I've been on their website and it, their stuff is expensive. And I had a cart full of things that came to like $200. I think it's Canadian, so it might be Canadian dollars. But either way, it was a lot of money. And I really spent ages, like a whole weekend, cutting down how much I was going to buy. Um, but I did get some washi tape. And I am going to unroll these ones. Right, I'm going to try not to wreck the sticker. Have I got a craft knife? I bet they're all in the house. <laughs> have a look I got something sharp do you know what they're double-sided so I think I'm just going to go for it with one side and then try and save the other side because I probably don't need two of each do I oh that was brave right and now I've got to try and get this out without tearing the sticker on top so they had like a new baby set and of course Around this time, my baby was only about two months old, um, so I was a bit obsessed with buying things related to babies. Um, I do already have quite a bit related to babies because I did the same thing when my eldest was born, but never mind. Um, but I saw these and I just saw, so beautiful, really cute. So there's teddy bears and milk bottles and baby grows and blocks milk bottles um some little uh what do you call it bunting a rocker a xylophone baby bottle bib boat another baby bottle a nappy set type thing with some toy oh no little toy box it's a toy box and a bear and then another milk bottle and then i think we're back to the beginning so it's another one of these it's quite a long um pattern the background is also blue and clouds and it's just it's really pretty it's really really pretty um they were expensive you can hear in my voice they were very expensive i think for like washi tapes and stuff they were expensive i can see why people buy them though because that is gorgeous um and then this one is called i love you baby and it's a 10 mil so i think i bought this as a set um, I don't keep any of the stackery invoices, uh, any of the invoices and stuff. Like stackery, just chuck them. I don't need them. Um, I don't need to be reminded of how much I spent, which is probably why I can't tell you how much I spent um, in total, because it was a little while ago now. But I have to say, this was delivered really quickly. It was like a week. Um, I'm still waiting for something I ordered from Little Bloom Papery in Black Friday. So the postal strikes here in England are causing us no end of problems in getting our post. Um, but stackery and couriers, super fast. So at least there's something. Right, there's the end. And this is just like the complimentary 10 mil tape. And it's just loads of the same thing, but it's kind of in a, like, I don't know if that's in focus. Is that in focus? If it's not, I'm really sorry. 
but the lighting's awful in here. <laughs> As I probably say every video. But yeah, it's just the kind of same thing, but just on a white background and dotted about. It's a bit more fun, I think. That's more of a sort of serious one. And then you get a little card that says happy planning, which is really cute. I like this. Um, and I just ordered some sheets of stickers. So I can't see any um, like freebies in here. So I don't know if they might be in with something else, but they don't seem to just give you a freebie as such maybe I didn't spend enough I don't know um but I got some eat healthy stickers because it's one of my goals for the year try and be a bit healthier go outside because it's good for my mental health it's called self-care bear so cute uh busy day because I always have busy days and giddy and I was kind of going for like emotion type stickers with those ones and they're on this like kind of a matte vinyl um they've got a little bit of a shine to them the cutting looks really pristine like really crisp um and I really quite like the feel of them I don't know if like their boxes and stuff I don't know how they would write on um but there's that one um so hub man and chub girl and I really have to think about that um every time I say it put a new to me shop so because I was trying to do a few new to me shops because the Lauren Phelps stuff I've bought before has been from Pippi Plans and I always go back to the same shops so that was kind of my thinking behind that um trying out someone new so the next one is a Simply Gilded um I got <gasps> look at the sampler I got oh my goodness this is the one I wanted um right I'm really pleased with that because it's my colours and the dragonfly and it's so pretty that's really pretty <gasps> that's so exciting um right so that's one of the samplers I got oh and I got this sampler too and a little bow so there we go I got two lots of samplers that's nice isn't it and oh I must have got some extra yeah I've got some extra bits and bobs so I've got a happy new year journal card that's really cute that must have been a freebie and then some like heart seals i'm guessing that was like a black that was the black friday thing i stopped following um i didn't stop following i stopped watching her releases because it was something else that was tempting me to spend a lot of money so i haven't watched her releases for a while i haven't really bought anything from simply gilded all year um throughout 2022 i stopped my subscription when they stopped um, and they got cancelled I went right it's a sign just don't have it anymore um so I went through and I was like what what did I miss out on when I was looking on the website um so I got some of the holiday stickers so some of the pinky Christmas ones I love these um so my December daily 2021 is more like these sorts of colors this year 2022 was more like these sorts of colors so that's why I've got two of the same sheet Jasper reading wearing glasses drinking tea like I mean it's coffee isn't it it's always coffee but like to me it's drinking tea and I just thought it was super cute and then wintry jasper again just kind of the December daily thing in mind when I ordered those um but that's what I felt I missed out on and the other things I felt I missed out on were three different washi tapes so the first one is this like simple bow did I order this I don't think I did order this I don't feel like I ordered this Maybe this was, no, I must have done. I must have done. She wouldn't have chucked in a free thing of washi tape, would she? Right, anyway. So it's a simple bow with rose gold. I'm sure someone will tell me if that was a thing um, or not, but that's a simple bow. And I love these um, like little bow and heart ones. I've got a couple of these in different colours and I use them all the time. Um, I've got like the white one, the mint green one, the baby blue one, the baby pink one, um, and I use them a lot so then the next one oh i'm so excited is jasper i can't get into it i love it i was like i'm not gonna spend ages unrolling all my tapes we'll be here forever and now i'm like unroll unroll i want to see them all right i can't get into this um i don't want to ruin it oh i've got some scissors i have got some scissors There we go. I think I'm in. 
So this is like, I think it's called like paper jasper or something because it's like paper dollies and it is die cut, which I didn't realise when I bought it, but that's my fault because I just, you know, add to basket. <laughs> you don't read stuff. You don't read about things. Oh, tore that first one. That wasn't a very good start, was it? It looks quite delicate and I'm not, I'm not a delicate person. I'm very heavy handed. Trying to be. There we go. Oh, I've ripped it already, but you get the idea. Like so, it's Jasper holding hands with other Jasper, um, and I am going to have to spend a bit of time fixing that, I think, so that I can actually get it apart without tearing it. Um, that might be because it's very delicate, and I'm impatient. I don't know. It might just be a bit of a flaw. Who knows? But I'm happy with it. I think it's cute. Jasper over and over again because I love Jasper. I love Juniper because I love the characters. And that is never going to change. Um, and then the last one I got is this beautiful, beautiful washi tape. So like dragonflies, butterflies, dandelions, like that kind of thing I quite like as well. And this one spoke to me because of the colours. And this was the like one thing I was like, I am definitely, definitely getting that. And then everything else just kind of followed from there because it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So there's that one as well from Simply Gilded. Um, I'm really pleased with that tape. Oh my goodness. Right, that's going in my setup, definitely. Oh, it could be like a goals type one, couldn't it? Right, who's next? Um... Who's next? I think I'll do some little things next because there's more washi in here. It's a bit creased and squashed, but it has come from all over the world. So I got some washi. I bought some post-it notes. Look, with the little twin stars type thing. So cute. Um, and again, pastel rainbow was my thing for this year for my planner. Um, I lucked out with the Rebel Ink Co calendar, but this was my intention when I bought a lot of this stuff for planner setups was pastel rainbow. So that's where that came in. Um, and then I need to move Jasper, don't I? Let's move Jasper. I'm just going to get rid of that bit because I've torn it anyway. Feels so wasteful. And I'm already, look, I'm already making a mess. Look, just got piles and piles of wrapping. I've got a bin on my desk. What is wrong with me? Right. I've also got a bin behind me. And at one point I had a black bin bag behind me. So I can't really remember what I ordered from here. This is a little freebie. So this is Nana. So boba carrier, ramen bowl, tuna nigiri and ice cream. I like the ice cream one, that's cute. That's that little freebie sample. And this as well, very pretty. Oh, it's like a collector card type thing. Cute. I like that because they're getting tea. You know me and tea. I love my tea. Did I not buy any stickers? I obviously didn't buy any stickers. I think I just bought washi tape and post-it notes. <gasps> that is not like me. What happened to me? I clearly had a moment of sense, didn't I? I think, looking at these, did I buy these as a set? They might be a set. I don't know. Either way. Again, this was the pastel rainbow thing. Pastel rainbow cutesy. Me all over. I'm going to have a slurp of my tea. Before that gets stone cold, because I keep doing that. Right. So, again, something I've been eyeing up for a while. Black Friday sales. This was kind of a... I always go to some little things last, and I think it's because I love her stuff that I'm like, I'm going to end up buying loads and loads and loads of this. Um, and I go last so that I don't spend too much money with her. But it's kind of like a white checkered background. And then it's got like pastel characters all over it. Is that one rotation? I think that's one full rotation. Um, and they're like the marshmallowy type peeps. Then pink version. This is so cute. <laughs> um, this is so cute. This is why I go there last, isn't it? Because this is more like you look at that compared to that and you're like, that is more me, isn't it? Um, not that I dislike that at all, but 
I am going to go back and check that everything is here of what I ordered as well, just in case. Um, I don't think that any of the shops would have missed anything, but I like to be on the safe side. Um, and it's just Lil in all the different colours, different positions, um, pretty in pink with silver hearts all over it. Look, so cute, so cute. And then this one, again, pastel rainbow vibes, was... I am going to swatch these as well, which is the other reason why I just opened them, because I think, well, if I'm going to swatch them anyway, I'm going to open them. So I'm not, I don't hoard them to the point where I'm just like keep everything in wrapping and stuff. But yeah, pastel rainbow, the different characters, like just cute, really cute. And don't they look pretty together? And it's got like little clouds in the background, that one as well. The sky is turning into another thing for me as well. Um, but yeah, so that's my Some Little Things haul, which... I'm, I'm like I didn't buy any stickers but I think that's I think part of me now I think about it when I was shopping with them I was like I bought loads of stickers last Black Friday from some little things and I haven't used a lot of them like I've used some of them but I've still got quite a lot left so maybe the like sensible part of me thought no um I mean obviously I obviously wasn't that sensible when you end up with another how many rolls of washi have I got here that many more washi tapes so there's clearly not that much of a sensible part of me is there what's that 10 12 12 washi tapes 120 meters of tape there or thereabouts give or take the odd one that maybe not be 10 meters to start with I, no one's ever going to use that what's wrong with me? <laughs> look at this i'm so pissed off Oh, I saw it a second ago and I was like, oh, I'm going to cry. Because I, I like to save these. I, ca I suppose I still can because they haven't cut the image. But someone somewhere has cut this open, um, knackered my envelope. Um, but in case you hadn't guessed, it's Shine Sticker Studio, which I'm so excited for. I went a bit mad at Shine Sticker Studio. I have been looking at her stuff all year going, nope, can't buy it. Nope, can't afford it. Nope, nope no nope. and then black friday came around and this is what started it because i thought if i'm going to pay shipping i'm going to pay shipping to stackery and then i'm going to order from other shops as well i'm not going to just pay shipping once she says <laughs> with two orders from the coffee monsters co on the way so this is a black friday special clearance freebie pack i can't remember if this was with all orders or some orders i'm trying not to ruin the sticker um but I literally was like, yeah, so I was like, if I'm going to shop here, I'm going to shop everywhere. But then I still ended up having my Coffee Monsters Co stuff shipped straight to me because um, they are my latest obsession. But I am totally obsessed with Shine Sticker Studio as well. Look, oh, cute. Hello, spring little die cut. So then I've got a die cut. That's clearly for a pride thing. Um, just going on the flag. But very cute um unicorn what's the unicorn called star star um and then look at these so cute under the sea type stickers which go perfectly with my every minute a story tape that i could not resist because it was the little mermaid um and it's my favorite disney film so that one i've had for a little while and was around the time I wasn't really filming anything. God, I still buy stuff, don't I? I'm awful. Right. Oh, cute. It's like she knew. I mean, they're they're more leaning towards boy, but they're like first birthday. Like, oh, it's like she knew. Baby birthday dino party. My eldest love dinosaurs as well. Oh, I've got one of these in my uh, Hobonichi cousin at the start of my cousin. It's a shame it's A5 because I'm in B6 this year. It is 2022, so maybe I'll use it as like a reflection page or something. I might trim it down and see how I get on. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So then this is my actual order. God, I got quite a lot for free. That was a... Did I purchase that? Clearance freebie pack? No, freebie. Oh, I'm not going to get this open without wrecking this sticker. Um... That was quite a lot for free. 
So, with my basics in mind, I went shopping. I'm going to have to laminate that. I didn't realise. Right. So I've got a little Christmas countdown. I'm guessing that was a freebie. Five, four, three, two, one. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. That'll do me for next year. With the little penguin. I think one's called Popsicle and one's called... I can't remember what the other one's called now. But I thought they were really cute names because I was watching an unboxing of her winter box. Oh, she gave us one of these last year as well. Five, four, three, two, one to New Year's Eve. Goodbye 2022, New Year's Day. Um, and then a little 2023 sticker. And it also is a Polaroid frame because you can take off the outside. I really like these. They're cute. November freebie. Buy all the things. I definitely did that. I definitely did that. Look star in a little Christmas jumper getting tangled up in Christmas lights so this is what I kept saying I'd ordered from Shine Sticker Studio um, in my unboxings with all the calendars so I've got January I'm hoping I'm in focus January February March April cute May June oh look I am totally going for the mermaid thing in June, aren't I? July, August. Oh, and my daughter starts school this year, so that's really cute. Oh my goodness. September, October. <laughs> I like the green around the outside too. November and December. Oh, I just love her stuff. It's so pretty. So those are going in my... I'll put them in the right order. Um, They're going in my everyday planner um and you'll see how i'm using those when i do that flip through then i got a couple of 2023 sticker die cuts um again just because i love the characters and i look at these every year and i think i'm having one pretty sure i've already got one of these but i bought another one teacup with i can't think what her name is the little girl in the teacup it'll come to me after i stop filming i've got a couple of these already as well but while while you're there when in rome you know buy another couple of name decals um just because again so cute so cute although i've kind of done those pages now have i and i've got a couple of this sort of thing on the way from the coffee monsters co i'm now regretting only having a couple of planners this year <laughs> i'll have to find it another way to use them maybe on my notebooks or something and then i just got the little unicorn cloud starry one and then i got the 2023 like monthly breakdown one um and what i did last year was write my highlight of the month in each of them so i might do that again this year but i haven't decided another vision boardy one this one's the 2023 inspiration and goals so she's updated it basically so that was 2022 2023 is much more fun because it's got the characters on there as well um look i want it right then i got a planning time cover sheet type one i'm gonna sort of use these for like dividers between the months i think um of my planner a shine bright one so cute so pretty and then i got a pencil board that is just cardboard so i'm a little bit disappointed that this was quite expensive and it was just cardboard so i am going to laminate it and pray pray that it survives um but yeah i just loved it because it had all the like stickers all over it and look the back of it with stars so it's just what's the tea sis <laughs> brilliant planet that's me drama probably you did it little art set like i just love it it's just so cute so that is my black friday haul um yeah i ended up with more than i thought i did as per usual as is the joy of a stackery box i think but that i have to say is my very first stackery box since 2021 so i think i did very very well that's just packaging let's move the packaging that's just packaging too um i think i did very very well to resist for almost a whole year of stuff um and purchases i'm gonna move that one because that one's curly um and only buy this amount of, only <laughs> only buy this amount of stuff um and to not have like a set a, a four or five of these in one year um i'm kind of trying to lay stuff out but it's just i'm I kind of i'm too excited too excited there's too much stuff going on like 
but there we go and my book cover let's not forget the very important book cover there we go so that is my black friday stackery haul and my little treat from my husband um for 50 quid of frivolous money i suggest if you can afford it even if it's just like a tenner or 20 quid i do really suggest doing it like giving someone 10 or 20 quid and go in spend this frivolous it has to be frivolous and something you wouldn't normally buy really good fun um but there you go i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm sorry if i rambled on for far too long um but you will see some of this in use when i get round to showing you my planner setup um and i've got another haul coming on top of this one uh <laughs> very exciting right thanks very much for joining me subscribe if you did enjoy take care bye